job can just boil down to, like, a few words. I could recite an entire call at my job for you right here and now. Go for it. Oh, do it. Do it. No, because I, 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 I don't know how much of my I don't know how much of my job I could get away Connor, with saying out loud. Game overs are happening. Do it. Oh, right. <laughs> ring, <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Hi, this is Connor from Insurance. How can... Oh, no, actually. Edit that out. I probably <laughs> can't say that. Someone be the angry uh, customer. Okay, I'm, I'm, let's No, go. I'm off work. <laughs> <laughs> work. No, let's do it. Ring, <laughs> ring. I hate you all. Ring, ring. Ring. Hi, what's Connor from Nene Insurance? I'm gonna I find where you live and kill my, you. Um, my my phone um, has it, uh, sure uh, stopped working. Um, I need uh, I need a replacing. That's no problem. I can see what I can do for you. That's it. Oh, no <laughs> it's oh one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring up your account here now and take a look. Can I take your full name, please? It's uh, Aaron Solman. Okay, and your full address is wow. postcode. <laughs> it's one two three Nangled Road, Middlewich. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Does someone live there? <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, That's why I'm saying shut up. At least make it realistic. <laughs> I'm, I'm make, I am making it up. <laughs> make it I'm realistic. Sorry, I need your postcode, sir. It's A B one two three Z Q. That's great. Thank you. Finally, your date of birth. <laughs> it's the. It's today. Oh, happy birthday, sir. What year? You robot? Every oh. year! Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Okay then, well, so I'm just going to have a look through your account here now. Okay, so it seems like you have the insurance. I'm just going to check the last things here. Okay, yeah, no, your bills all check out, so everything's all fine to go. Right, can I ask what's happened to your phone? Um, I, uh, I, I was using it in the shower. Mm. And, wow. um, and you, um, I, I wanted to, like... You gave me a replacement phone recently, um, and my previous phone was waterproof, and this one isn't. Um, it was supposed to be waterproof, the replacement you sent me. Ah, okay, so well, so I'm sorry that um, you, as I say, it's, um, oh, you're, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, as I said, sorry that you, um, <laughs> that your phone has been damaged, but as I said, we're looking to see what we can do. He like said, they normally don't guarantee that the phone is waterproof, they normally claim it's water resistance. So I said, I'm sorry this happened on this, it's not been up to snuff on this time, but we'll see what we can do to get it fixed. Kick so, off. so I'll just put this down here now for you. Uh, was the SIM card in the phone at the time? Uh, yes, yes it was. Both SIM cards. Oh. Okay. That's fine. And uh, can I take your... Um, and do you know roughly when this would have happened? Uh, it was this morning when I was having my shower. Okay, that's fine. I'll just put that in here now. And finally, could you confirm the make and model of the handset for me? It was a... It was a, it's an <laughs> Apple iPhone X. Ah, okay, then that's fine. That's an Apple iPhone, not a Samsung iPhone. <laughs> Samsung iPhone. Right, okay. But uh, is there any further information on mitigating circumstances you'd like me to add to this at all? Um... It has to be a pink one. It only comes in pink. Okay. Uh, it has to be pink. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but if there's nothing more you'd like me to add, then I'm afraid on this instance I would need to reject this due to neg negligent uh, use of the phone. Uh, so I'm afraid. It does that not say in the terms and conditions that. I'm afraid it does. <laughs> it does cover the like, negligent um, uses of the phone. So I'm afraid on this instance, because you're not using it fit for purpose, we would need to reject on this instance. Ask however, him to read the terms and conditions. However, <laughs> if you're, however, if you're not uh, happy with this decision, I can pass you through to my colleagues in customer relations, who should be able to do this. I need to speak to a manager right now. Okay, so I'm afraid that because it's been rejected, <laughs> it would need to go to higher than my manager, which would be customer relations. So I can pass through to them now. Yeah, no, it must be a manager. Okay, if you want to, <laughs> they wouldn't be able to uh, talk to you about that. It would need to go higher than them at this point. However, if you wish to make a complaint about myself, I can pass through to my manager. Uh, I think I would like that. <laughs> yeah, then that's fine. I'm just going to go on hold now. What's that one song that's always on the hold music that I put on chat the other week? Isn't it, isn't it just like the hold music? Yeah, it's, it's like an actual song. Oh, I didn't know that, man. Uh, yeah, it's Ave Maria. No. That's the, that's that is a common one. If it was Ave Maria at my work, A, I would laugh. B, I think more people would be creep too creeped out. To <laughs> okay. Play. You have someone downstairs just singing down the phone. So <laughs> Ave Ave there it is. It's called Opus Number One. All right, then. I'm How long of it can I play before it hits? Uh, none of it. <laughs> All right. I'll link to it in the description. Oh, Hang on. I'm gonna on. Go. Don't stand underneath the giant But he shouldn't be able to do that. That's a bug. Hang he on. shouldn't be able to hit that down until I'm on top of it. <laughs> 
That's ridiculous. Uh, so Simon's run away. <laughs> well, yeah, if you could bleep out the name so, of the company. So, uh, what the hell did you see that? I walked into it and died. So... I literally just walked... Peep. <laughs> that, that is bizarre. Stop doing that. I, I will. What, what the hell? So, no, I... You, is anybody here familiar with the term of customer phasing voice? Because Connor is the best example you, of you've that. Got that. You've got <laughs> that phasing voice. Customer facing voice, like, oh, right. like it's okay, the voice you put on uh, when you're talking to a customer. Well, you're you know you're through to uh, any insurance company over here. I'll just uh, patch you through over here. You have it. <laughs> yeah, it, it is a voice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's just something up. It's something I've done since day one. No, it it happens. I do it. Mm -hmm. I. Yeah. I have customer face and customer voice. I feel like it's just built into your DNA. Like, I'm trying to think what do at the museum. Oh, it's oh. Welsh. Uh, bait right. You just say your face would be Welsh. So, like, sometimes if it is like a slightly Scouse or slightly Welsh accent, my accent does drift that way. As also with it's Scottish. No, I just mean straight up Welsh. Do it in Welsh. No. Like, no. Oh, okay. No. You should get like one of them badges that has like flags on for the languages you can speak and have yeah. the Welsh flag on there as well. Problem is, like as I say, I'm, I've got household Welsh. Like if I, people want to ask, you know, where the bathroom is, I can tell them that. If they want to ask anything about the army, I'm not even sure what the word for army is. Oh. Doesn't come up much. El Armo. I put that joke to your mom and she corrected me on it. Just that's right, isn't it, Andrew? Like, <laughs> what joke? I don't know. The one about the the the. French in this world war. Oh yeah, yeah. And she told me what the correct grammar would be. Isn't that right? Like, <coughs> I don't know. know. She speak better than I do. I would. Uh, do, what? Relate to me what the joke is in English. Uh, the joke is, um, why did uh, like why weren't the French um, fighting in World War Two? Yeah. And the answer is because they were busy. Yeah. So I put that to her. She said, well, that doesn't make sense because it, yeah, if they were fishy, it. that would make sense. Right? I don't know. Would it? Well, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> right. Because it doesn't make sense in English. Well, I get that much. Yeah. It's just the Welsh for busy is vichy. Yeah. So, and you know, vichy France. Yeah. So that's the pun. And it looks like my mum was trying to make a pun in English. Gotcha. I'm just saying that she, I took her word for it because again, I, I don't. Yeah, she I, speaks this language a lot better than I do. Yeah, I, I don't know what she I was, was not she was saying. Word. I don't know what you were saying. Who are you? Point is, we were at this waffle place down the road, which yeah. is a good example of me just snapping into customer-facing voice and face because the lady who owns it just loves me so much from my work hmm. that whenever I go in, she comes and like gives me a hug or sits with us sometimes. Huh. And I can't just do this all the time. So it's like, hi! How can I help you? This is my shop. No, I had a great time at work today. I'm so glad to be here. I'll have the bounty, please. She's leaving the country. I'm so sad. Where's she going? Crete. Oh. Because given the choice between crew and Crete... <laughs> Apparently likes to go somewhere with a cr like a booming economy. Oh. I just realized there's one letter and there like three over on the keyboard. Mm. Maybe she mistyped it on a visa application and she's like, well, oh. gotta go with that. Gotta go over there now. What the hell? Is okay, that's my objective. <laughs> I've just realized I don't know what my what I'm doing. <laughs> like, at all. It's the bomb giant uh, and the cutscene shut Oh! oh. We're back! All I didn't do was I didn't run towards this boss. I just <laughs> didn't. <laughs> you just didn't. Hey! It's exploding bog man. We've all this time we've been talking about exploding dog man, and instead of going there, I ran away from him. I mean, so, if someone was throwing dogs at you, I completely that forget. I forget so this there he again. goes. Look at him. Something we have mentioned that in recent video slash many videos because it's great. You've hung out with my dad a couple of times, right? You do the youth club thing with him. Yeah. You know that he is mostly about dad jokes. Yeah. One of the few things that he loves the most is, well, I'm huge ass. 
the line for these guys. Just, he knows that whole routine. Yeah. Right down. And he even uses it. What a nice young man. <laughs> just, just to describe people. And I'm like, I know what you're doing, you nerd. Wait, I think it's... that's great. Did we talk about this on Wednesday? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. That didn't go up yet. Yeah. Because that's one but... where I've always um, enjoyed thinking that that's not his name. It's just yeah. he heard it and was like, no, I can, I can do something with it. <laughs> this seems fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh... Last time I was on this, uh, did I mention the thing about Gaddafi's compound? Okay. Oh, goodness, no! What a swerve that okay, was. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, when what? they were raiding Gaddafi's compound, uh, they found uh, on the wall a giant painting of the box <laughs> art of this game. Really? <laughs> yes. It is believed that his son <laughs> is a huge fan. But well, we can't play anymore now. The police are on well, that one. ask his son. I think his son's still alive. Okay. Yeah. But... Yeah, no, it's like when like you can see in the background of like when they like they put out footage of him like going around his compound and in the background of it is a giant picture of the warrior within. What cheeky marketing there from Ubisoft. Right, I think it was like <laughs> years after the fact. <laughs> they knew. We're so close to activating this goddamn forsaken <laughs> tower. I was thinking of throwing down that pun there that mm -hmm. we all agreed on, but it's not the time. No. Not the time. We'll, we'll find a way. That's pretty clever. Throw him out of the lift. That's your Streets of Rage strategy he right could, there. Yeah, you could not cross the threshold there. He was trapped there by an invisible force. You mean the loading screen? Yes. The loading screen is all around us. Does this does this lift have any good music in it? Lifts in the midichlorians. Probably the girl from Ipanema. Uh, we had it mentioned ages ago that I uh, music. I listened to Uber song. I, I did listen to the soundtrack on this to be like, am I is that nostalgia goggles? Where I'm like, yeah. And it's, it's actually really good. Like legitimately. Except for Ghost Man. It's all the budget came back! Like, yeah. And there it hey, goes again. Halo, Halo 1 soundtrack. Well that, well, that does have like a universally praise. The door is open. Uh, soundtrack. Yes, that's the only track I can name you from Halo is The Escape at the End. That's what good. about. Oh, oh, so that oh, oh, that's the Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Same um, thing. They're very similar. That sounds like the song that uh, Pippin sings. A little bit. <laughs> Where Denifor's eating, like, stuffing loads of food into his face. I put that in a music round once and nobody got it. I was so upset. What, Denifor's stuffing food What's... into his face? Uh, no, the, that song? This particular music round that Dad did in his quiz, he went, right, um, I want video games. Can he do video game music? So I've got stuff like, you know, that one track from Mario Brothers because everyone knows it. And then there's like the yeah. Kirby music, some Sonic music, whatever. And I thought, let's put the I'm dead. The theme of Halo. <laughs> yeah. Nobody got cool it. Cool flip into huh. small poor swipe. Dead. Halo's gone less. Bravely run away! I'm gonna run away. slowly walk. Really yes, strong. curtain. Vogue, <laughs> Vogue away from him. And the you know the plot <laughs> Use the curtain. Dumb. I am Fine using the goddamn just curtains. Dumb. Halo is this. Really yeah. need help. Like, I, I ended up watching, like, all the cinema cinematics from 5. Yeah, I heard it was I back played then. the whole of 4, and I have no idea what's happening in that. Robots, right? Uh, thing he's done rampant. Well, it's like, I got that, but it's like, who's the didact? Why should I care? Do you know what a thing that'll make you angry now? Uh huh. He's explained in a book. Which book? Oh, that's one of uh, it's the one before 4 came out. Huh. Just like <laughs> an actual book, or is it tie-in comic like Mortal Kombat? No, they, they did actual. No, they did actual books. Why they they did some decent, <clears throat> de like you know, fair, I, fairly decent books for him. I understand. The Use book. your time slow. No, I can do it. I understand the book of Fall of <laughs> Reach joking. is better than. Oh no, I did it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Fall of Reach was really, really good. Mm. Uh, oh, Halo: oh. The Flood was written by a different author. Oh. Who, had like a slightly different understanding of stuff. Thank you, Peter. Was, so they're was pretty good. They filled Simon. in a load of gaps. Question, Simon. Uh -huh. uh, any of the Mass Effect good uh, books any good? 
No. Okay. I wouldn't uh, expect it. The to be. first two are serviceable, and then the third one is a garbage fire. When yeah. do they when do they take well, place exactly? Okay. The the first one. Uh, the third is one was set, one that's a prequel. There's a prequel which is all about Captain Anderson before he's Captain Anderson. You know when he was like going to be a Spectre and then Saren yes. yeah. uh, destroyed his chance of being a Spectre. It's, it's that. Hmm. Alright, that could be interesting. I so guess. yeah, that, it's it's fine. And then there's one which is uh, set oh, uh, I think maybe after Mass Effect 1. But it's uh, like the elusive man is a major player in that book. Uh, he does need explaining. It doesn't explain him. It just just oh. it just talks about him. He's just there. <laughs> he does need explaining though. Have you ever read any of the comics? Because my lord, that's the worst art I've ever seen. Yeah, I've I've read one of the comics. So it's the I've read worse awful. worse than Silent Hill. Which one? The art in Silent Hill was fine. It's just they spill coffee on all the pages. Is that the one with like the paint that looks like it's painted and then spill coffee on? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that looks fine. I mean, the one I the one I remember reading, all the faces are just like abstract shapes. Yeah, oh, I don't, they, don't think I read that. They look like what I would. Okay. Does it look like the Metal Gear graphic novel? I've never the... seen it. You know, like TV crazy. Yeah. When somebody will just like scribble faces out, and it's just circles and circles and circles and circles and circles. Yeah. That's what the faces look like in the Silent Hill comics that no, I've no. read. That's not great. The Game of Thrones uh, graphic, graphic novel, novel. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. Is the as I like, on one hand, I really like it because it's you know it's bright and colourful and it's you know it's actually based yeah. on books and blah, blah. so you know they've got you know Renly's going around in bright green armor because of course he is because that's what he does. That's not what he wears. Well, no, I'm sure, <laughs> no. in the show he wears something drab and beige I and he looks. I was rough. attempting to trig you. No. I but anyway, so right, so the problem doing, with that is... I've been doing that all afternoon. You won't get him on it. Because okay. I've done it. All right, fair enough. What are you trying to do? Just annoy you with Game of Thrones. Because I was legitimately trying to understand it. And then I was explaining the show. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> no. Why is the Hound doing this? But the graphic novel. I'm yeah. so sorry. Well, so, the, the, so I say, like the, the, like, the colors and the design is all fine. Yeah. But no one has any kind of human facial expressions. Everyone's just kind of like... Rah, 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 rah. I've seen the solution to this one. How do I open this door? Oh. There you go. There it is. Giant switch. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Man. I once looked up how I could have my light fixtures replaced by breakers. Oh, god damn it. But apparently that's a huge health and safety hazard, so you can't do that. Yeah. Oh, no, that's it. Mass Effect. So I the second, be cool. so the second one was all right. Uh, Say so it has like a load of lore stuff, like the Quarians show up, and there's some kind of Quarian deep space exploration vessel. Not and to keep this saying use your time thing. slow. I know, I know. But yeah, but the main thing that You're annoyed everyone about the third book starts in the second book because there is this little kid, like proper little kid. I don't even think she's like ten. Um, she's got. Like um, uh, very. Oh, we're back very, here. Very autism. Studied all your grooves on the actual yeah. term. Yes, yeah. but uh, this room. Very uh, as much as autism. Yeah. Wow. Um, Nonverbal. Mostly, I think. Right. I, I can't. I can't remember what the thing. Like, there's, there's like a term where it is like the like not, not talking. But yeah. <laughs> it learned to fight me in the past. Uh. <laughs> Who are you? It's this guy. We've been seeing this guy like all the way through Leave the game. Leave it to me, blokes. And he's like, Leave it to he's, me. he's dead now. Oh no, Borderlands! <laughs> oh. Found it. I found the Mass Effect comic I was thinking of. Who would have thought? Whoa! Oh, he's Did gone. you see his face? He's yes. Gone. What was that? 